dynamic search ads versus responsive search ads. If you're confused or unsure of the difference, then in this video, I'm going to explain what the difference is between those two. And it is a massive difference. So you definitely want to watch the entire video because I go into depth on both of those elements. And if you like this video, don't forget, hit that thumbs up icon and subscribe to my channel. So let's go do this right now. All right, welcome to the Teach Traffic YouTube channel. As mentioned, let's talk all about the difference between dynamic search ads and responsive search ads. So firstly, let's talk all about dynamic search ads. They are like a traditional search ad in that they are a text ad that is on the search network. However, they're a little bit different to a classic search campaign where you bid on keywords and you do keyword research and you choose the match types and all the stuff that you know most likely how to do. Dynamic search ads are different in that you give Google a URL, either one specific page, or it could be a bunch of pages of a certain category on your website, or it could even be every page on your website. And you say to Google, hey Google, you choose what keywords I should be bidding on. You show my ads where you think it's relevant based on what people have typed on that are a match for the content on the pages that I have given you. So it crawls all the content on your site and then decides based on what people are typing if it's relevant to show your ad. And if you've given them more than one page, which most people do, then it will send the traffic to the appropriate page. They're actually a really, really powerful campaign. And I like to use dynamic search campaigns or dynamic search ads in conjunction with maybe search campaigns that I'm running or shopping campaigns or really any other type of campaign. I find it a bit of a catch all and we get really good results with it. I find also they're particularly good for e-commerce stores who have, you know, maybe like a thousand SKUs where it just would be a really, um, you know, time consuming task to create, you know, do all the keyword research for all the different product items and, you know, send them traffic to the right product page, etc. So it just is a really handy way um, to, you know, for more for long tail keywords to send that traffic to the appropriate page. The other component with dynamic search ads with, the, with that campaign type is that it dynamically generates a headline in the, as the ad. So you don't write the headline yourself. Google will be writing it for you pretty much based on what somebody's typed in and, and where they're going on which particular page on your site, but you can actually write the description. So in this particular campaign, this is a dynamic campaign. And as you can see here, I put where the URL contains challenge or the URL equals ttraffic.com slash challenge. And this is a, cha a retargeting challenge which teaches people how to re create a retargeting campaign. And so I've put those, um, you know, dynamic ad targets. Um, I bid really low just because, you know, these CPCs are really high and see if I can kind of get away with it. But if I show you the ad, if I go to the ad, you'll see here, that the headline is dynamically generated, the um, display URL is dynamically generated, so it doesn't tell you. Um, but here it says, uh, what is the description that I have put in the ad for that one as well. So a really helpful way to just kind of roll out campaigns really quickly, actually. Now let's talk about a responsive search ad. And a responsive search ad is not a type of campaign, it's actually a type of ad where it, which is used for a classic search campaign where you are actually bidding on keywords, etc. but you have control over your headlines. So here is an example of a responsive search ad. If I just edit this real quick, we'll open it up so you can see. Scrolling down here, this is uh, where I can actually put in all the different headlines and I can put up to 15 different headlines and I can also put in the descriptions as well. So a responsive search ad is an ad type, whereas a dynamic search ad is kind of a campaign type really, as I've explained earlier. So really, really big difference. So there you have it. That's what the difference is between the two. If you like this video, don't forget, hit that thumbs up icon and subscribe. And maybe let me know in the comments what you think. And if you've experimented with either one. Thanks so much.